Standing on the promises of Christ, my King, through eternal ages let His praises ring. Glory in the highest, I will shout and sing. Standing on the promises of God, standing, standing, standing on the promises of God, my Savior, standing. Standing, I'm standing on the promises of God. Standing on the promises I cannot fail when the howling storms of doubt and fear assail. By the living word of God, I shall prevail. Standing on the promises of God. Standing, standing. Standing on the promises of God, my Savior. Standing, standing. I'm standing on the promises of God. Standing on the promises I cannot fail. Listening every moment to the Spirit's call. Resting in my Savior in my all and all. Standing on the promises of God. Standing, standing, standing on the promises of God, my Savior. Standing, standing, I'm standing on the promises of God. One more time. Standing, standing, standing on the promises of God. Savior, standing, standing, I'm standing on the promises of God. Hi everyone and welcome to worship. I am so glad you are joining us for worship here today at Tuckerton United Methodist Church. Staying connected to God and to each other virtually has been a lifesaver in so many ways. No matter where you worship with us today, I'm grateful for you and this community. Worship online has been a tremendous blessing in a time of hardship and uncertainty. So I invite you to follow us on our Facebook page, uh, subscribe to our YouTube page. If you're tuning in for the first time, we would like to know who you are. And you can let us know by texting the word NEW to 609-293-3188. Let's have a word of prayer. Lord, we give you thanks for this time. Be with us this day as we listen to your word for us in our time. Holy God, may this time of worship be a joyful response of praise and thanksgiving. 
for all that you have done, for all that you are doing, and for all that you will continue to do for us and all people through the power of the Holy Spirit. And in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. So give thanks to God, for God is good. God's love endures forever. God has come to God's people with blessings and hope. Praise God for the many ways He touches our lives. Let us praise His holy name. King is exalted on high. I will praise him. He is exalted forever, exalted on high. I will praise his name. He is the Lord. Forever his truth shall reign. Exalt in his holy name. He is exalted. The king is exalted on high. Come on to the king of kings. Let's exalt him. He is exalted. The king is exalted on high. I will praise him. He is exalted. The king is exalted on high. I will praise his name. The king is exalted on high. He is exalted. The king is exalted on high. He is exalted. The king is exalted on Join me in prayer. God, thank you for bringing us for this time and be with us today. Open our hearts and minds to your word and show us how to walk with steadfast faithfulness. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of all our hearts be acceptable to you, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. The scripture chosen for this day is in the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 1 to the first part of verse 2. And here's what the scripture says for us today. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down especially the sin that so easily tripped us up. And let us run with endurance the race God has set before us. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Growing up as a kid, I look up to heroes. There was something special about wanting to fly like Superman or do crime fighting like Batman or holding the sword of omens like Lionel in Thundercats to defeat the great Mumra. Those are some of the heroes I grew up with as a kid. We grow up looking up to heroes. We want to be like them. We want to follow their step. And I'm sure most of you wanted to be a superhero when you were younger, wishing that you could have had super strength or fly or have a big hammer or even turn green and have muscles. 
People need heroes. We need them as examples of the kind of life to strive for as common ideals around which the community coheres. And as I became older, I realized that we had heroes in our world today that didn't have powers, didn't have a costume, and didn't have a cool name. So what made these people heroes? Well, I believe that their superpowers weren't like the ones we see on the screen. Their superpowers were their qualities and traits. See, I believe that a hero is a person who sacrifices their reputation and their life in a selfless way to help others. A hero is a person who inspires people and gives them hope. A hero is someone who helps others and expects nothing in return. A hero is someone who is brave and courageous. This is what I call spiritual heroes. Now, if we look through history, we can find these heroes. We can mention Mother Teresa and her, self, and her selfless service. We remember Martin Luther and his impact in the church by moving forward Reformation. John Wesley and his ministry outside the walls of the temple. All people of faith. People who devoted their lives to God and to transform the world. There are others closer to home that are also heroes. Today we celebrate All Saints Sunday. We remember not just those All Saints who supposedly did things like hammer 95 theses on a cathedral wall or one who preached in the mind. We today celebrate because we have known saints and we miss them. Our faith believes that when we die, we too join the communion of saints. Every time Christians say the Apostles' Creed, we profess belief in the communion of saints. And the term communion of saints refers to the whole community of faithful followers of Christ, living and dead past, present, and future. All Saints Sunday is a time when we remember Christians of every time and place, honoring those who live faithfully, share their faith, and point us to the way of Christ through their witness of their lives. You see, we are all part of a huge crowd of witnesses that have accomplished the journey of faith. While we are still on the journey, we remember and give thanks to those who have impacted our life, who guided us in the journey, those who model faith and hope. We are all part of a great communion, a great fellowship, a great family that continues to live by faith, our faith in Jesus. Now, if I ask you today, have you met a saint? Have you met a spiritual hero? Spiritual heroes that impacted our lives. Maybe a grandmother, maybe a mom, maybe a dad, maybe a brother or sister in Christ. I can mention to you some of my spiritual heroes. My grandfather who taught me to have faith, to believe in Jesus and share the good news of the gospel. I have pastors who have guided me and prayed for me. I have brothers and sisters in Christ who I remember them and I have them dear to my heart, who show me the love of Jesus. People do saint-like things that change the life of those around them. They become the people who show us God's love and grace and goodness. They inspire our faith. They lead us to live good lives. They show us what is important. They give so that we can live. And when they leave this world, we miss them. Today we raise their memories up once more and we look to the next life where they are already all saints. So who are the saints you remember today? 
who help to shine the light of God just a little more in your life. Your parents, a childhood Sunday school teacher, the person you work with, those whose quiet faith caused him to make things a little brighter for everyone around them. The person who came up to your help when everything in your life had fallen apart and who pick you up and help you get back on your feet. The one who fought for what was right when everyone else was too scared. You see, there are all saints and because of them, we are here today remembering the little things they did that inspired faith in us. And remembering them is good. Today's scripture take us to the letter to the Hebrews. Now the letter to the Hebrews was written to a community of Christians going through a wilderness time, a difficult time. Their knees were weak, their legs were drooping. The temptation to give up was strong. And so the writer of the letter challenges them to run the race with perseverance that is set before them. Keep the faith. Follow the example of those that came before you. Just as today we are encouraged to keep the faith. It has been a difficult year. It has been a year of many challenges, but we have a huge crowd of witnesses that have shown us the path. They have shown us perseverance, faith, love and how to endure. Now in chapter 11 of the letter of the Hebrews, we see a, reca a recount of several different heroes from the Hebrew scriptures who live out faith. And one of the things that becomes immediately clear from this listing is that living by faith meant different things at different times and places. For some, it meant triumph in the world, but for others, it meant enduring suffering and defeat without succumbing to despair. And then at the beginning of the 12th chapter, we come to the verse we read today. Therefore, since we are surrounded by a, such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down especially the sin that so easily trips us up. And let us run with endurance the race God has set before us. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. So who makes up this huge crowd of witnesses? Well, it includes the heroes of the faith that the author has just mentioned, but countless others as well. Peoples whose name will never show up in the world's history books, but who strove in their own way to live by faith in a particular time and place that God planted them. People from throughout human history all gathered together in eternity watching those of us who are still going at it in the journey today. You know, some of these saints personally, like I mentioned, parents, spouses, children, friends, fellow church members, those who have gone before us. And as we continue on our spiritual journey, we continue to grow holy and throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. We go to God to be transformed. You see, there is a huge crowd of witnesses who have already faced the enemy and won their fight. They face the impossible, they accomplish the unthinkable, and they stand as proof that you can make it too. Their path encourages us to victory. Just listen with the ears of faith and you will hear them saying, go for it, keep the faith, you can do it. Your faith will carry you through. And we are called also to be spiritual heroes to someone like others did for us. The light of Christ shines through your life. 
we continue to fix our eyes in Jesus, our Savior. We continue this journey with perseverance and faith. We continue our path of holiness. So one day, someone can remember us as part of that huge crowd of witnesses, as part of all the saints. They will remember your love of them, your love for them. They will remember your friendship. They will remember the ways you took what you had and used it to help others. They will remember your faith, your perseverance, your courage. So inspire others today. Lift up others to be better people. Show them the path of faith. Show them the journey. Show them who Jesus is. So as we celebrate all saints, we can ask ourselves, what is a saint? Maybe your answer could be, a saint is a person who got killed for Christ in the first three centuries. Or maybe your answer is people who were religious heroes of the church had chapels and churches built in honor of them, and they are now up in heaven interceding with God for us. Like we mentioned today, a saint is our grandmothers and grandfathers, mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters, friends who have died and go before us into heaven. A saint is someone who has died this past year in the life of, your, of the church. But I also tell you today that you are a saint. Yes, you are a saint. You are the living saints of God. You are God's holy people. And God takes enormous pleasure in your company. Your lives are an inspiration to one another. So may God's Holy Spirit continue to guide us on our journey of faith. And may we live footprints that others decide to walk in. Amen. Let us pray. God, we are surrounded by a crowd of faithful witnesses who have gone before those who have loved where we will have hated, those who have healed where we will have hurt, those who have spoken out when we will have remained silent. God, may we walk in their footsteps, learning courage from their sacrifice. May we learn to give so that others may receive. May we learn to love so that others may be set free. May we learn to share our lives with others. God, may we join that cloud of faithful witnesses treating paths of love, obedience, leaving footprints that others desire to walk in. And God, may we too lead kingdom lives. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchased by God. Born of his spirit, washed in his love. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight. Visions of rapture now burst on my sight. Angels descending bring from above. Echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my.
my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, all is at rest. I and my Savior am happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, looking above, filled with His goodness, lost in His love. This is my story, this is my song. Raising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. my song, praising my Savior all the day long. As we celebrate All Saints Sunday in the life of the church, not only in our congregation, but also in literally ten of thousands of Christian congregations throughout the earth, today we remember the names of of the people who die in our congregation this past year. Let us remember our brothers and sisters in Christ who we miss. O God of both the living and the dead, we praise your holy name for all your servants who have finished their course in faith. Especially Sharon Abbott, James Bauer, Claire Ford, Sonia Mana Hall, Chuck Hedinger, Alan Gilson, Helen La Rosa, William Marshall, Victoria Ann Baker Martin, Larry Alderbert Mathis, Alvin Lee Mathis, Jane Moeller, Agnes Farrell, Jane Plump, Phyllis Schneider Sarman, Scott Snyder, Leonard Sofil Jr., James Tidora, Robert Vaughan, Carlton Wills. Almighty God, your people of all age live and praise you without ceasing. In our communion with you, we have communion with generations past and generations yet unborn. Before your throne, we are one with a great multitude which no one could number. And in praising you, we join with those from every nation. Grant to your church on earth that as we celebrate the triumph of your saints of glory, we may profit by their example and enter with them into the inexpressible joys you have prepared for those who love you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now let us come boldly to the throne of grace that we might find help in our time of need. Gracious Lord, your faithful community has gathered this day. We desire your healing mercies in our lives and in the lives of friends and family. Those who are lost, alone, who suffer from illnesses, who mourn, who feel hopeless, are in our hearts this day. We bring to you names of these dear ones as we pray this morning. Lord, we pray for Joy Ski. Fred and Mary Ann Riley and their son Charlie. We pray for Jeannie Sebastian, Avis Cramer, Pat Mathis, 
Charlotte Fraser, Diane Mount and her husband Dave, Linda Fleming, Lily Rose Kramer, Luke Hasley, Angelo Pagnotti, and Lisa. We pray for Charles Wood and Jim Rogers, Margaret Golden Ryan and Gregory Eastburn Jr. We pray for Michael Rising, Joe and Elay Lyons, Devin Eddy and Sarah Grunow, Paul Kolarik and Betty Crook. We pray for Dottie Clark and Kathy Barman, Mackenzie Stevenson, Nancy Steinhauer, Russell Mathis III, Brenda Hayes and Shirley Leake. We pray for Lori Arnold and Dan Zolna, Walt Miller and Betty Ying Young, Marty Rhine, Frank Pomaco, Abigail, Jackie Constantine. We pray for Paul Byers, Kim Mikolovich, Jennifer Firucci's family, April Gordon, Stacy Douglas, Ron Hardy. Lord, we also pray for House of Hope members and their family. We pray for all who live in fear and believe the only way to ally the fear is through the use of addictive products. May they trust only in you, God. We continue to pray for all who were struck by natural disasters and are rebuilding, all who lost a job and are looking for jobs, for every family who already knows how devastating COVID-19 is and longs for everything possible to be done to mitigate its spread. We pray for our country and its leaders, the upcoming election. We pray for all the men and women in uniform here and overseas, all the first responders. May you protect them and bless them. Lord, hear our prayer. In gratitude, we come to you this day bringing shouts of joy as well as cries of sorrow. We are concerned about so many of our friends, our brothers and sisters in Christ, who are afflicted with illness and many kinds, who mourn, who feel lost and alone and wonder where you are. We have raised their names before you in prayer that your healing love may be poured on them. Lord, help us be prepared but not anxious. Be aware but not desperate. Be vigilant, but not in fear. Be joyful, but not clueless. Be faithful, but not careless. Lord, be our hope and strength. Lord, we pray. We pray for our country and its leaders. Holy Father, during this time of debate, diffusion and decision making, please guide us with your spirit. Please keep our country healthy during this season. Give us the peace that passes understanding about the vote and the outcome. We ask for the season to not be volatile. May it be a peaceful, peaceful one. We ask that you will be with all the candidates who are running for office. Please keep them physically healthy and strong and focus on the task before them. Turn their hearts towards you, O Lord. May they fear and revere you above all else. Help them to present their agendas clearly and honestly. Be with their vice presidential picks as well, that they may be of help. We ask that the vice presidential candidates' hearts and minds be open to you as well. Lord, right now it feels like there is so much at stake. And there is a lot of anxiety about the upcoming election. People are worried. Your word says to be anxious for nothing, but in everything to come to you. So we ask that you provide peace and comfort to the weary hearts of this country right now. Relieve their anxiety by helping them to focus on you and your will. Help those who feel anxious to instead feel your presence. Please diffuse the spirit of anxiety across the nation, bringing understanding between all people. Reign over us, O Lord, instead of fear. Lord, bless our country and keep us strong. Help us to remember the things we have in common and not just our differences. Let there be revival in our country, bringing us closer to you and to each other. 
Lord, we pray for men and women who are serving in the armed forces, for first responders. May you bless them and protect them. Lord, we know that you hear and respond to our prayers for these dear ones. And likewise, gracious God, we shout with joy at the many blessings that have been poured into our lives and into the lives of our family and friends. Our hearts rejoice at the delight they feel. Help us to understand that these blessings are your wondrous gifts of joy for each one of us. And we thank you for all these blessings. And help us to bring words of healing and hope to all we meet. For it is in Jesus' name that we pray. And we sum our prayer by doing together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And we now affirm our faith by doing together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and buried. And the third day he rose from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. I want to thank you for tuning in today. If today's message spoke to you and you're ready to take the first step on your faith journey, do this simple prayer with me. Dear Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. I know that I'm a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. In your name, amen. If you made this first step in faith, let us know at tuckerinumc.org slash connect. And you can also bless the ministry of Tucker and UMC online or by mailing a check to the church. Giving during this time is essential for our ministry to continue blessing and supporting you during these challenging times. We thank you for every gift, every dollar that is given to our ministry. You are blessing our congregation, our community, and the world. I continue to pray for you. I pray that you can find hope in Jesus this week. The Lord continues to be our refuge in the midst of uncertain times. Go forth in peace to joyfully serve God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord may his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And the Lord turn, the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. It is the peace of God which passes our understanding that goes with us everywhere, now and forever. Amen. I hope you have a blessed week.